Hey guys, so today we're here to see how weight affects your cycling speed. So we've picked out a 2.7 kilometer stretch of road with a gradual incline, which means Craig, our guinea pig, will be able to put out a consistent, pretty consistent effort the whole way up. So this is how the little test is gonna work. We're gonna do four runs of the course. The first one will be Craig as he is with no additional weight. The second one with one kilogram of weight. The third one with five additional kilos on his back. And the final one with 10 kilograms on him. So Craig is 72 kilograms. And for each run, what he's gonna try and do is maintain 225 watts of power. That way we'll get a nice consistent reading and we'll be able to compare results pretty easily. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> So you may be wondering what we're going to use for the weight in the bag. Well, you can't beat a bit of flour. Okay, so we're back at HQ now, back from the run. First things first, Craig, how did it feel out there? Uh, yeah, it was definitely noticeable as the weights went up. So from the first one, it was, uh, you kind of noticed it just a tiny bit, yeah. but as you started hitting five kilograms extra, you were noticing a bit more effort, and then 10 kilograms, I was seriously starting to uh, wonder if I was gonna finish the course on the way. <laughs> yeah, so the 10 kilogram bag, I mean, that was full of massive bags of flour. Yeah. Uh, and when you just picked up and felt it, you felt that was quite heavy, yeah. right? So yeah. clearly there was gonna be a bit of a noticeable difference, right, in how yeah. fast you were actually cycling. I mean, if I was actually had that 10 kilograms, I'd look a lot different in real life in terms of my <laughs> body shape. So yeah, it was definitely noticeable. Okay, so let's take a look at the actual results then. So, for run number one, and that was the run without any additional weight, yeah. uh, Craig came in at seven minutes and 51 seconds. For run two, so that was with one kilogram of weight added, he came in at eight minutes and one second. For the third run, and that was with five kilograms on Craig's back, he came in at eight minutes and 12 seconds. And for the final run, and that was with the whopping 10 kilograms on Craig's back, he came in at eight minutes and 25 seconds. So an interesting set of results then, and it just shows that over, at least in our case, a 2.7 kilometer course, you could save a ton of time by shedding 10 kilograms. But, you know, 10 kilograms is actually quite a lot of weight to shed. Yeah. So even a more realistic target of something like five kilograms, which I think most of us could probably achieve right in like not too much time. Mm -hmm. You're probably talking about six weeks of hard work, right? Even with a five kilogram saving, you could save yourself 21 seconds over that length of course, which is pretty good stuff, isn't it? Yeah, that's, uh, that's not bad going. I mean, if you actually wanna save some time, it might be better to actually save the money and get a better diet as opposed to buying a more expensive bike. 
As with a lot of these tests, being outside and all, there's always going to be some variables in terms of weather and, and your own power output. For this one, we actually tried to stick to 225 for each run, but there are always going to be times where you're putting a little bit more, a little bit less. So we said about 225 with 5 watts either side of that, and uh, we reckon we stuck to that quite consistently over the couple of runs. Yeah, exactly. So the average readings for each run were within that 5 either side of, either side of 225, so it's pretty consistent stuff. So to wrap up then, you know, it's been said before, but quite clearly the most effective way of improving your speed on the bike is going to be sh by shedding a few pounds. As much as we don't like to hear it, you know, because it involves a bit of effort on our part, that is quite clearly the way forward. You know, a lot of people think that maybe you could save a bit of time by spending, you know, a bit more on some lighter equipment, etc. But number one, the quickest way to get that speed up is going to be by saving some weight, right? Yeah. Body weight. It's also going to save you a lot of money and actually keep you healthier in the long run. So it's a win-win, really. Exactly right. And so thanks for watching, guys. We hope you liked the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this.